right now I'm just going through the process of trying to shake back from this and just yeah but yes yeah, so after we got ice cream we were riding around finna head back to the house and literally this big old ram truck t-boned me and totaled my car <sighs> like y'all this is the most scariest thing i really think this is one of my biggest fears for so for that to happen is just like like what is life if i was okay even though the car was gone like it, as long as everybody okay i was okay with it because them cars could more than a thousand percent be replaceable you can't replace this after this experience, I just learned a lot. I learned that the tongue is a powerful thing. Uh, speaking negativity in the world, no matter if you're, it's a joke, da da da. Speaking it to the world, like. Hey y'all! Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If y'all new here, my name is Jordan and this is Jekyll on Vlogs. If y'all new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to be notified every time I motherfucking post. So today I will just show y'all some key features of my car, a full walk around, okay? And some of the accessories that I have bought. I'm not going to talk much, much longer. Just make sure if you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and follow me on all my medias. It will be linked down below. And again, let's just get straight into this video. Okay, hey y'all, so here is the outside of my car. As I said, I have a 2022 Jeep Compass. I kinda will let y'all know why I chose this car and my fascinations with this car at the end. Right now, I know y'all won't just probably see the Jeep. And I really feel like with the 2022, it just looked really buffier. It looked mean in the front. Like, she's looked like a big girl car. One accessory that I did do to my car is I put these pink tiger animal stripes on the side i just feel like this make it look a little more girly because again it looks very 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 mean from the front so i'm staying right here so i don't have to edit that much with my tag this light is not the best from this angle, but it's gonna be a quick second. I wanna just show y'all how nice the trunk is. All right, so here is a good overview of my trunk. Yes, it's a little junky. I was not gonna clean it all the way out because I wanna show y'all a true and real like deal with my car look like on a daily basis. So I had this bag since my freshman year of college and I'm now using it for like miscellaneous things. And so everything won't be all scattered around my car. Within the bag, I have my old tag i have a spare jacket i have a beach towel a spare scarf um i think you got yeah some tennis shoes just in case i got to get the jacket make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. and then also just like pamphlets and oh literally everything that i just don't want laying around in my car so this don't post to be back here it is some tissue i had got this from my mama house you know i went shopping in my mama house and I have not brought in my, sh my, my little stuff back out from my mom, so it's back here. Then I have a halfway, or more than halfway empty case of water, and that's pretty much it. And then this is how it look with the seats down. Of course, it give you a semi-flat area. One reason why it's not all the way flat is because I have some stuff right here in the back seat. But y'all get the chance. Like, it damn near doubles the trunk if you put the seats down. So, again, if I'm fully grocery shopping, moving, or anything, this vehicle will allow me to tow, like, damn near anything. Okay? And that's what I need because your girl finna graduate college next year. I'm gonna be on the road. We gotta pack up and go. It's time to go. Coming this way, of course you have the back seat. So 
So another accessory that I do have in the back seat is I have two pink purse holders. I have one on this side and one on that side. Um, I typically use this one because I can just throw it up, put it right here. I just invested in these little cute, simple purse hooks. It does the job. And I would definitely switch them out as I change the theme on my car. But again, that is something really cute, really simple. Down right here, I have a cup holder. Real nice, real nice. So this is the center console. I have some LED floor lights. I just plug it up back here so I can use my little charging dash thing for my actual charger. Also, I have a cigarette thing or you can put like a regular car charger in there. Y'all, I really thought that was a plug. I've been fooled. <laughs> And what they do like is I have air back here for my guests. This way they ain't gonna bother me. Tell me something hot. I'm cold. I'm this. I'm that. Baby, if you cold, close the vent. And if you hot, open the vent. Period. So this is an example of the hooks. The light is just blinding, y'all. So I have my tote right here, and I also have this aluminum foil looking thing. What are they called? <laughs> I've been calling them like aluminum pans ever since I got it. But I got it because, baby, it's hot. I live in Mississippi. Like, it's a humid hot here. So, yeah, nah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it back here. Nothing too much. Okay, again, looking very, very much sun-kissed. Let me grab my keys, and I'm going to show y'all the last little feature outside the car before I get in the car. So, the thing I love the most, because I did not have this in my old car, is once you have the key on you, and you put your hands behind here, of course, it is um, auto entry, I guess. I guess. And it also, if you press this button while the fob is near the car, it will lock the car. All right, now let's get in, besties. Okay. Now I'm gonna show y'all a couple of things in the inside. This is the part that I feel like is worth the most. Because if it's giving big body bins on the outside and giving 2008 Infinity G6 in the inside, then... <laughs> You gotta go back to the lot. So, of course, when you first get in, this is how it looks. This is the first impressions. And it's not the cleanest, so don't judge. So, put the foot on the brakes and you press the lid start, stop. And it starts the fuck up. As you can tell in the inside, one thing I really, really love and why I kind of fell in love with this car even more is because it has this cloth like interior all throughout the front all throughout the side it's on this side and it is on the back side i think it just started in the 2022 jeep compass i feel like it give it that push up from just being a regular jeep off-road capability to actually being luxury actually being stylish actually being all right so starting back here this alone, y'all, made me feel just like I just got a great upgrade from my last car. I did not have the little digital speedometer. And the thing I hate the most, like, having a digital speedometer is one thing because, like, tell you how fast you're going. The next thing is, in my old car, which was a Camry, so anything that was wrong with my old car, like oil, like the oil change, uh, my tires flat, windshield, wiper fluid low, like, anytime anything was wrong with the car it always just said check engine like the check engine light used to come on and they were me maybe really mad because i'm me she she is not a car person so when stuff like that happened i'm like now i gotta throw the car away this is a little bit more reasonable <laughs> i'll be a little bit more reasonable with myself so some of the features right here is you got the digital speedometer then you have your vehicle settings, screen setup, stored messages, audio, start, stop. You have the trip stuff. You have fuel coming in, which y'all see. <laughs> I'm gonna get gas. I just honestly didn't feel like stopping at a gas station before coming. Driving assist. 
vehicle information and this back to the speedometer another thing vehicle information again like i just said it tells me my tire pressure my oil my um uh, trans temp i don't know what that is and battery because your girl battery used to die a lot in the old car so it just it really does it for me again coming from not having none of that to having stuff like that that alone is a luxury to me to me so when you come back from up there you have your hefty defy big girl wheel okay something i was looking forward to is actually having the jeep emblem and not this this is their new emblem which is still cute it's giving simple i want to have the, like the actual jeep letters and so i can decorate them with the like litter and the diamonds and stuff but it's okay it is it'll be all right like i'm not studying it at all on this side i have my control these control the screen up there you can hook these up to do anything you want to it don't have to be answer or decline a call on this side you have your cruise control almost we got it i'm gonna try to show y'all this so on the back side you see this lip button and it's also one over here right here boom so they'll control the big screen up there so if you're driving and you need to change the station you can press this side and if you want to turn the volume up or down there you go Real quick, on the side, of course, you have your door handle, again, with the cloth going all the way around. Door lock, door unlock. You have your window lock. I love that I have automatic up and down on every single last window. That is something that you don't know you care until you have it. So if I didn't have it, it didn't come standard to the car, then okay, cool. But because it does, I'm gonna give it a little shout out. And up here you have your little mirror, side mirrors control. And one thing I really do love about the door, I'm about to show y'all at night. It is a little um, ambient lighting in here, which I feel like it gives very much luxury, girl. And then down here you have your light control, nothing too serious, nothing too serious at all. All right, so starting off at the entertainment center. So clicking all the way over here. So this is the main screen. This is how it would look, how the Jeep screen look. It have my audio on this side and have my phone calls on this side. You can also change it and have whatever you want to be your main focal point when you come to the little home screen. Right beside home is the media. So you got FM radio, Serum XM, and then Bluetooth. No, wireless and then Bluetooth. Right here is the comfort screen, nothing too serious. So over here you have Apple CarPlay. This is something that I did not know I wanted until I got it. <laughs> so I do really, really love this. It gives me um, on my phone vibes. So one thing I really just love, the music, okay, cool, cute. I really just love maps, having the maps up here on an actual screen. It has helped me a lot with my driving and everything. So give it up to her. Three things that I love the most about my car is, of course, one is the speedometer thing. Two is the ambient lighting. And then three is, no, no, okay, I got four things a lot. Sorry. <laughs> is corning lighting. So with corning lighting, anytime I'm turning my wheel, definitely at night, it's like this extra side light that pops up on each side depending on where I'm turning. So I feel like that's good. I haven't hit that, that I haven't hit that many curbs since I've been in, in, in this car. And then over here it is all the apps. Y'all can read them because your yeah, girl is not. Boop, 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 boop. And right here above these buttons, you have a certain thing. And I realized, I don't know why if I have the safety features. When I seen the fully, 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 fully loaded Jeep Compass, they have these buttons, but I have the features, but I don't have the button. You see what I'm saying? And I'll explain it in a minute. But right here below the screen, you have the auto start. Right here is the tire traction thing that we do not touch. This is Bruno. And then we have lane departure. As y'all can tell by the beginning of this video, I was in a really bad accident last year. And one thing that I told myself that I'll have to get in order to get another car or just like have my car is 
safety features. Like I need the lid light, which I do. So like anytime a car beside me, I have where it just flash and I can also have where it beeps at me also, but beeping is rude. So I have like that. I have driver assist where if I'm in a lane and I swerve, it'll kind of put me back in the lane and kind of drive for me. And then also, if somebody in front of me push on a brake, trying to brake check, a, my car will brake for me. And I feel like that is very, 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 very useful. So that is that screen. And then I always have it off. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's easy. That's, oh my gosh. I just unlocked a new level. Oh my gosh. Y'all have never turned this on ever. And then I got the, this is crash collision. I have to do that from here. And that's where the crash collision and the um, everything X supposed to be right here. Why I don't have them buttons? I don't know. But y'all, I just unlocked the new level in my car. Let me cut that back off though. So that's pretty much all right here. The best thing of all is up here. I don't know if somebody wants to see this. This is how I look, out of paper. You got like this little paper clip thing. Like, if you didn't know, I do have a sunroof. So that definitely gave me a couple more light. Like, and it keep going. And it keep going. Y'all, this really whistled the car. So in another video, I showed y'all me test driving some Jeeps and it was one I was ready to like just sign on the dotted line because I was just kind of being impatient on like being patient, being content and just trying to go with a car. And it didn't have a sunroof. And when I got into that office and it was telling me the price, the price was looking good. Woo -woo -woo. I was like, damn, if I get this car, I'm going to regret not having a sunroof. And so I waited out and get what I truly, 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 truly want. Like, this is the one thing that I knew it wasn't no letting up off of. Like, but I didn't have a sunroof, I did not want it. And then the other button, other button. So this as far as it go, but I feel like it is still, it's giving what it's supposed to be game. It's, it's and then on this side, it is a bug net. Zoom out a little bit to catch all the bugs when I am driving. And you can also tilt it to only have that. So, as I can tell, I got like this little pink thing going on throughout my car. Mm, it just said love for you, so we need to speed this up. So, yes, I got the pink tiger stripe outside. I have my little pink lip thing up there. What's this? It say car registration and insurance holder. I need to get my insurance to put in here, but I do have my car registration form in here. And then the last big, big thing, because if I'm forgetting anything else, it probably was not important. But the last big thing that I want to show y'all before it get too dark, but because it's getting dark. So of course you got this, you got that. But you also have lighting. So this is how it's looking right now. And I also have it in the back. But once it get dark, I will kind of give y'all another tour of definitely like the side lights, this and this. So, if that is it, I think that is all I want to show y'all within my car. Alright, so besides the wireless charging, another thing that I have is the Uconnect app. I can start my phone up from the app. I can honk the horn. I can unlock and lock my 
car door from my phone. It's giving me very much sense besides. And also, this is the app that allows me to change it to any color I want. And also I can change it from being very, 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 very bright to kind of dimming it down. I just like red and I keep my red on the highest red. This also vibe, this give me Mercedes vibes. Hey y'all. So as I can tell, it's definitely nighttime. I just recorded some of the features, how it is at night. But before I close out this video, because apparently I'm, I'm closing out a video, uh, period. I definitely want to come back on and say how much I appreciate and love and take in every advice, every like support, no matter how it was, when it was, if it was with YouTube, throughout my college career, personal, or like just plain life. I truly want to get on this camera and thank each and every one of you for playing y'all part in my life. Y'all, everything has not been easy for me. Like I've been through the most wildest, craziest roller coaster over the really a couple years, like the last three years. Like sometimes I'm in my very, very high. I just can taste my dream life, my dream lifestyle, like everything I ever wanted. And in the next minute, I'll be down at my lowest. So I truly want to say, and this is my disclaimer for the video, I did not make this video to flaunt or to brag on what I have at all. I really want to use this video as motivation for you. And if it's you, you know who I'm talking to. Like, this is for you. This is for you to not give up, even if it feel uncomfortable and it feel unaccomplishable. Yeah, we're going to roll with that. <laughs> At the moment like truly keep going keep going please bestie please 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 keep going you're almost there, you are almost there. last year when i got in my accident i did not <laughs> ever think that i was gonna be in my own whip again like it was to a point where i had people driving me around dropping me off at work taking me places like carpooling with any and everybody just so I wouldn't have to drive and so although some of y'all don't relate to that I know some of y'all do I love watching these videos and now that the fact that I am <laughs> looking at my camera and making this video or have made this video is still crazy right now because I didn't think I would be at the point I am last year I really didn't if you don't push for nobody else, if nobody ever told you that they love you and you're doing a great job and you are doing the best you can possibly do, like I'm telling you, you are, you, you got it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry and I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. So I just want to really say that words and I really hope they resonate with someone. And before I cry, I'm finna get off this freaking camera. I love y'all so much. You got it. Keep going. Bye. And you better finish the heart. You better, come, come on. We for lifers. <laughs>